Pokemon Red Without the Pokemon Centers, Part 12. I called it, he tried and paralyzed me and he succeeded because I think that his uh, perfect uh, accuracy attack. Now in addition to being out of moves and the only thing I can do hurts me and I have load attack and I have load speed because of the paralyze, I can only attack like one out of every three turns. Because that thing really likes to paralyze me when I want to do attacks. And I'm fighting a Sandshrew, which is going to use Defense Curl to heighten its defenses six spots, and then it's going to use Sand Attack to lower my accuracy. So I have like a 1 in 16th chance of doing 1 16th of its damage bar. And it's going to be very entertaining to watch. Just you wait. <laughs> Struggling. Let's see if I can get through this entire. Uh, well, let's just use Sandshrew. Don't want to push Whopper Jr. too far. Let's see if I can go through just this entire Sandshrew without having to use a potion on it. I am legitimately surprised. That critical hit was way more than double the strength. Anyway, now I can go straight onto the Arbok. This is the last uh, creature this one Grunt has. And he can't poison me because I'm already paralyzed. So I'd rather probably take um, paralyzation at this point, even though I do have to attack second, which I probably would anyway, because uh, Whopper Jr.'s nature does lower his speed. But um, if I'm poisoned, then I'm going to have to use more super potions than I would like to. And with Paralyzation, all I will do is endure an extra attack. Which will probably do less damage than the Poisoning would. So I'm happy with Paralyzation. Whereas Whopper Jr. isn't very happy about the wheelchair. But that's his problem. Struggle! And it looks like only maybe two more attacks. Unless this thing wants to hang on by a sliver of health as well. Also being paralyzed really renders his main attack, which is Poison Sting, useless. The only, the only use to that attack is if it poisons. And it keeps leering, which is good because it doesn't really have that many physical attacks. Well, I do get paralyzed, and I do have to heal in this match because I'm worried that he'll use Poison Sting. But he used Leer, and if my struggle had gone through, I would have survived. And I would have been 8... HP higher, at least. Well, let's see how much higher I my cowardice has cost me. There we go. 45 out of 88. Is that enough to warrant a super potion? Normally, I don't like to use healing items unless I'll get their full effect. But wait! Flamethrower! Finally, I learned a new attack. And just in time. It's just like something out of your cartoon animes. Where right before I need to go up against the main guy, I get the super special power. Flamethrower will help me get through Giovanni because I think he's mostly ground type attacks and Pokemons. First, I have to uh, get a net ball. I guess that's a joke because the laptop is right there, like he's surfing the net. And then there's a nest ball, which doesn't have any meaning whatsoever. Cure myself of paralysis, and I'll go ahead and use that super potion. Here he is. Don Giovanni, he's the big bad guy. Hopefully the flamethrower will help me get through this. I'm at a disadvantage because, oh, he has rock types. I did not know that. It would have been wise to uh, refill my power points for Brick Break for this fight. But look how much damage flamethrower just did. And <laughs> he uses rage. Hits Onyx rage is no match for me. Anyway, two flamethrowers and the onyx is dead. So this is a pretty powerful attack, this flamethrower. I mean, that can burn right through, uh... That's half the damage of regular attack. Rhyhorn, also part rock. So you can't see the full effect of this flamethrower at all. See, double that. And that's how much it would have done, but... Rhyhorn and onyx probably don't have that high special defense, so... Maybe it's not that powerful of attack, but I have faith. That uh, flamethrower will serve me well. It'll probably be one of the attacks I kept I keep on permanently from here to the champion. 
because I prefer that to Fire Blast, especially in a run like this where uh, I'd have to use Power Points to uh, replenish my misses with Fire Blast, because it only has 5 PP, this has 15. It seems like a uh, clear winner. Oh, it looked like it would be a 3 hit kill, but it got burnt, which puts it into the 2 hit kill range. That's luck working for me. Because I really want to save power points for this flamethrower, but I don't really have a choice at this point because it's my only attack. What am I going to do? Boom. And uh, up next is the grass gym, where I can use flamethrowers to my severe advantage. Or I could use the TM area lace, and that would also burninate the whole gym. But he leaves behind a sylph scope, which means I can go to back to Lavender Town and actually make some use out of it. Because last time I think I just ran right through there. Now I can actually go and do a dungeon there. That'll be my next stop after I go and get my fourth gym badge. And this was a surprise to me. I thought taking out Giovanni would also uh, remove all of the rockets from the gym. But since it didn't, I actually have... I, think, I just called that a gym. I meant dungeon. But no, um, it didn't uh, remove them, so... There's one item still left in there. TM21 Frustration is still in there. I couldn't use it on... I could use it, but it's not very powerful because Whopper Jr. loves me. And that's based off of how much your Pokemon hates you. But if I do do an event later where the rockets get taken away from there, I can go back and get that and sell it for money. But getting back up to current and present times, I will be burdening a lot of plants. There will be many one hit kills, and I'll probably gain a level or two, and it will be great. Like right there, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. And this person's shtick is Flamethrower, or I mean, Bulbasaur Evolution. There are uh, many paths you can take in the grass gym. If you go up the left, you'll fight two trainers. If you go up the right, you'll take two trainers. If you go straight forward, you're going to fight at least three. So I'm going to take the path, the path of uh, least resistance and just uh, fight that picnicker and then this chick here. Uh, the, the, the Pokemon uh, count on each path for the left and right is even. So it's not like I'm at a disadvantage by going this way and since everything's one hit kill I don't think it can get any better going up the other side when am I gonna get a one hit two kill who's ever heard of killing two plants with one fire anyway Aldish and Gloom so that's another um, starter evolution mid-level evolution trainer I wonder if there's a pattern in here like the other chick on the other side of Erica has Bellsprout and a Weeping Bell, probably. Erica, she's very uh, ditzy, I guess. She probably drinks green teas. And I'm going to show her what for. Oh, she has a Victory Bell, and I'm guessing the other third evolution because Audish and Bellsprout sort of line up. So it's going to be a Vile Plume and some other powerful grass type, like Tropius or something. Oh, no, nope, it's just a Tangela. The least she could have done was evolve it into a Tangrowth, am I right? That's another one hit kill, why am I surprised? It's not like I'm ten levels above her and using special effective attacks. Yeah, there's that Vile Plume. This was the only one that was in danger of not getting a one-hit kill in this whole gym. And of course, one-hit kill. Level 36. I can't remember if that's uh, a special level for uh, the Charmander line. Let me just ponder about that for three more- Oh, there we go. Whopper Jr. is evolving. This is a momentous occasion.
Bam! Charizard Holographic Shiny Card, Regular Edition. You all know you miss having this card. And it immediately learns Wing Attack because it has wings right now. If I had stopped its evolution from Charmeleon to Charmizard, it would have never been able to learn Wing Attack. And that's also another attack that would have been good for this gym because this gym is so pathetically weak if you choose Charmander as your starter. And I get Giga Drain, which is a very prized and powerful move, and it's going straight on to the market as soon as I uh, reach a market. And Charizard still can cut with his wings, I'm guessing. And I finally have to use that tea. It's probably ice cold by now. And who wants to drink ice cold tea? And I can just mow right on through to Saffron City.